What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we're gonna be opening up the brand new limited time, of course, a spring and ink pack that was based off the most recent holiday event, the spring and ink. I really like the event, it is now over, it's stretched from April 4th to April 21st, I'm sure you know that. I spent some time trying to get some of the customizations, but the ones I didn't get, hopefully I'll be able to open up in this pack today. Now, I am going to probably spend about 500,000 coins on this, and we'll see how much of the customizables we get at that point. If we get all of them, awesome, I'll be super glad to see that. My goal, if you you know have heard previous episodes, was to have 1.5 million coins stashed away for this video, just in case I needed the extra coins. I'll get to why I wasn't able to bring out the time to get the extra 170,000 I need. But for right now, let's go ahead and open up our first bring it in pack and see what we get inside. I really don't know, the, the customizables have been really great so far. And we got ourselves the flower hat, the hatching egg nest, I love that one. The egg mohawk, the fuzzy bunny, and the egghead. I really, really like the fuzzy bunny for the cactus. The cactus always has like some of the best hats. But there's our first pack. Definitely spending at least, you know, 500,000 coins is gonna be my goal. So, what we got in here? This is pack number two, polka dot chocolate eggs. Who, I think this is for the pea shooter. We got the carrot helmet, the bunny mask. It just looks like brains. I guess it's bunny, somehow. Rainbow bucket, oh, that one's cool. I think, oh, that's for the rose. And the birdhouse, which looks like it's for the scientist. Some of these are like normal, but a lot of these are like really, really cool, which I like. And apparently there have been like customized plant pots. I haven't seen any yet, but hopefully we can find them soon. We got the spring rain, very cool. Caterpillar, bowler hat, terracotta flower pot, which is being worn by the engineer, which is weird. And the bow tie. <laughs> that one's pretty simple, but it still looks nice. All right, so far so good. I'm liking what we got so far. So this is the Bunny Boo Shoot, look at this. It's a consumable item, it's a chocolate, oh, you know what, that's a chocolate bamboo. That is very cool. So I've got the Bunny Boo Shoot, the Chicken Head, the Honey Bee, the Bird Head, and the Basket Case. Some of the basket case is like, uh, it's just a basket on his head. Nothing too special, but it still looks pretty cool. Ooh, here we go. We got ourselves the Mr. Freezy Egg, which of course is a uh, variant of the Mr. Freeze. The Loud Hair Bot, which is of course a variant of the Loud Bot, or whatever it's called. The Bunny Co, look at that, that is cute. The Spring and Weed, and the Basket Joy. So I think the fact that we've gotten all these probably means that we actually just finished off all of the customizations. Let's try to open another one and see what we get inside of this one. Ooh, yeah, looks like it, which actually I don't mind. We're probably gonna open up one last one just so that we can get duplicates of everything. We actually got three bunny coats that time. We didn't get any more of the weeds though. So let me try to go ahead and get duplicates. That way we can show a few off without having to spend our one and only ones. So yeah, that looks actually pretty good. We've gotten, I think, at least one of everything. So we can show off everything properly. We'll also go ahead and show off all of these spring inning hats. But yeah, let me know what your favorite spring inning item is, either via plant pot, consumable, or customization, or all of those. Just tell me everything about what you liked about the spring inning. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at your customization, not select you, dude. All right, so let's go ahead like that. And then he got the watering can and he also got the bowler hat. So it looks like every character got two customizations, I think. There wasn't like, uh, yeah, I don't think there was any kind of, what's it called? Non-hat related thing. It doesn't look like it. So it looks like it was all hats. So that's still pretty cool, the watering can and the bowler hat for the imp. We have the super brains over here. He has the excellent hairdo. And then of course he already had the egg noggin, which is from the actually last year's small Easter event. So I actually have no idea if you could still get this. Let me know if you did not have Garden Warfare 2 back last Easter, let me know if you actually got this. Cause that's actually a cool little experiment to find out. Cause I'm honestly not sure. Uh, and then if we keep going back, all the way to the Captain Deadbeard. I don't even remember any of the Captain Deadbeard ones, so it'll be cool to see. Oh yeah, he had the bunny mask. Now it looks more like a bunny. Before it looked like he just had little brain eyebrows. We got the carrot helmet as well. This one's okay. It's actually, I like the colors, but it's just weird. I, I don't understand what a carrot helmet is. I guess this is a helmet that's sort of supposed to look like the top of a carrot, which is just a weird design. We got the basket case. This one I'm not super wild over, but I do like the purple hair. The purple hair is pretty cool, and the egg shades. The honey bee is fantastic. I love its uh, texture. Like it almost looks like leathery, which is very very cool. It's all stitched together. That's a very cool hat right there. Um, we got the engineer, and we're we're slowly gonna go through all of them just because they're all super duper cool. We got the terracotta flower pot. 
Those poor, poor plants. If the plants were already mad at the zombies, they will be now. And we got the chicken head. And this one's actually pretty bulky, but I like it a lot. It might make it easier for people to headshot this guy, but I mean, the engineer already had a pretty big head, so it's not that big of a deal. Now let's clear our customizations here. We got ourselves the flower hat. This one, I don't know. It looks cool, but also at the same time, like a little 50-50 on it. It actually looks like it's like a like a plushie, like it's not actually a plant, it's all stitched together. And we got the bird house. This one's cute. Look at that bird. He's doing a little neck bob, like mm-mm, mm-mm. I like that one a lot. That's a very cool scientist hat. And then for the all-star, we have the bunny nest. This one's pretty cool. How you can barely see. And then we also have the egghead. And this one, this one sort of seems to be a must. You know, you have to have the egghead customization. Um, and then of course there's none for the hover goat. Wah wah. One day, hopefully one day we can see some hover goat and torchwood customizations. But for right now, we got the hatching chicks, which this is actually one, the very first spring inning item I got in our original spring inning episode. Still a very cool hat, still one of my favorites. The bow tie, I'm not super wild over. I do like the mohawk. I sort of wish they had that mohawk without the whole duck thing going on here, because he's a duck now, apparently. I don't understand why. It looks really weird. <laughs> and then we have the rose, oh no. Press the wrong button, silly zebra. But uh, yeah, we have the rose ones, which are like that. Not press X, you gotta press square. That one is so cool. That's a cool effect. I wish sort of like the back end wasn't, you know, curving back into it, but sort of faded off. Like, I don't know, I think that might have looked a little bit cooler, but maybe that's just me. We also have the hatching egg nest, which any of the ones with the little birdies in it, like they're just so cute. I love that so much. And then we have the kernel corn. I don't remember any of the kernel corn ones, so let's, uh, Quickly do that. Oh yeah, the Chaco hair. So he had, this is another one that was from last year, and this one's okay. I, I, maybe it's just because I'm not really a fan of that kind of chocolate. And then we have the big bird head, and this one is just funny, because it reminds me of that, well, the, the cartoon character. Is her name just Tweety Bird? I think so. <laughs> it looks funny, and I like that a lot. And it fits his head shape, you know, that's pretty good. I mean, most of the hats do, but this is the Spring Blossom. This one's pretty cute. And then we got the polka dot chocolate eggs. This one's a little weird. <laughs> Makes them look all bug-eyed, which I'm not that big of a fan of. This looks creepy. And then we have the chomper, and the chomper's gotta have some weird ones. I can only assume, hold on. Ooh, wait, there we go. And this is the egg mohawk. Oh yeah, that one, that one's pretty cool. Any of the bird-related ones? I mean, I guess this is eggs, which of course usually eggs are from birds, but you know, there are other animals that hatch from eggs. The caterpillar one though. This one's perfect, that is so cute. Now I might actually be like a contestant for one of my favorite ones so far. We got the sheepy, oh my gosh, nope, we found our new favorite. That's adorable. Look at how it bounces and everything. It has a little sheep butt. <laughs> and then we have the picket fence. Ooh, it, it fits actually. Usually hats that, you know, take out the top petals of sunflower's head sometimes look a little wonky, but these both actually fit really well. I think what helps a lot is the grass coming out of the back here makes it look a whole lot more natural. That's actually a pretty cool hat. I was like, when I looked at the preview, I'm like, I don't know how I'll feel about that one. Gosh darn it, I did it again. But I actually like that one a lot. That was another cool one, but that sheep one is definitely my favorite. But the cactus has the fuzzy bunny. That might be tied for my favorite as well. The, the googly eyes make it just one step better. And it, and it reminds me, of course, as of the bat kiss. So we got some really cool hats for the cactus so far. And then we got the spring rain. This one's okay. It's sort of weird how like the flowers are floating on it. At least when I look at it in detail. But overall, I shouldn't be scrutinizing that much. It's still a pretty darn cool hat. And then finally, well, no, that's it. <laughs> I always forget that the torch and the hover goat don't count. So definitely it's between the fuzzy bunny and the sheep hat for me, but still two hats per character, that's really awesome. I think that's a good package of stuff. Not only that, but we're not quite done because we're gonna show off all the plant pods, zombie bots. Um, I don't know if we'll go in and show off the spawn animals just because um, they didn't seem that crazy customized, but to give you a look, we got the basket choy and we had the bunny boo shoot. Those are the two Easter ones we get, so here will be the basket choy. We have five of them, so I'm not too worried about spending one. And he's looking pretty cool. He's looking nice and fancy. He's got some like purple hair going on. Oh, you know what, they're like the paper inserts to the basket. Very cool, I hope everybody had a fantastic Easter if you did celebrate it, by the way. I haven't mentioned it too much, but it's sort of come and gone by this point. It's almost a week since then. And then here is the chocolate boo bunny, and this one, or is it boo bunny? Something, I don't know. Whatever it was. Um, But it's still very, very cool. 
I, I, I mean, I just really like bamboo shoot. It's, it's sort of the big thing for me is that he's probably my favorite spawnable plant pot is the chocolate bamboo shoot. Interestingly enough, this time around, there are custom, you know, spawnables, but we didn't actually see any of them running around the backyard, at least I didn't. And that's something we saw for Lawn of Doom and the Feast of Us, is that there were custom spawnables and sometimes you'd see them running around the backyard to sort of give you a bit of a preview of what they were. Not this time though, but for Easter here, the spring inning we have Mr. Freezy Egg and then Loud Hair Bont. Oh yeah, I forgot to read the little previews. Not sure what sounds rabbits make. Come a little closer. So let's spawn this guy, and we have nine of him. We really like that. I love the little bunny teeth. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, I love him so much. I don't want to ever vanquish this guy. He's super cute. Also very scary. And then finally, we have the Mr. Freezy Egg. This brain freeze machine is extremely cold. Oh, the puns. Oh, the sweet puns. Whoa, look at that. Very cool. So. Overall, I'm really happy with everything we got to check out today. Tons of awesome hats, and then of course, tons of awesome spawnables that I probably won't be using too much of that I can hold on to them forever and ever. But let me know your thoughts on these spring inning events. I think it was great, but I'd love to hear your opinions and also your anticipation for future holiday events, because honestly, I don't know what they'll have in store for the next few months, because that's really all the major holidays done, except for like maybe like, 4th of July, but that's not really a major holiday. So it was a quick explanation before I head off for the day on why I wasn't able to earn up as many coins as I wanted for the spending spree. Luckily, I didn't even need those extra coins, but I might have, and that's why I wanted to earn them up. I was actually sort of surprised by the fact that I got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe early, and I actually started a YouTube series on it already, so you can go ahead and check it out. It's on my channel, so if you like Mario Kart 8 and you wanna check out the brand new Mario Kart game, episode one is out on the channel right now. It was posted earlier today, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Plans for Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Egg so I know you've watched it in the video, and you're a Zebra. Fantastic viewer. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.